Kill switch off. President of the United States. <laughs> Carbs guy on the yeah. phone. We're gonna have to uh, send you a picture of the uh, gas uh, setup we have on this thing. I don't know why they don't do this. It should be factory. <laughs> I mean, you're you're basically pre-warming the fuel, and as we know, it's got to yeah. get hot anyway. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah, a little pre-ignition is so always good. We got a, we got our gas can mounted next to the exhaust. That should be good, right? Yeah. That's not that's not guys. Don't pay any attention to this. <laughs> yeah, she's not too smoky either. Yeah. So the track's fun and everything. So. Uh, oh, the uh, electrical on this needs to be replaced. All the lines may have uh, been laying on the muffler for a while. There's a Tesla owner who's been stuck with a fiery mess after his car caught fire not once, but twice on the same day. Take a look. Really? Yeah. yeah. A little sparky. Did you, uh, did you happen to save all the wiring harness? Yeah, I did. Uh, there you go. Yep. That Z keeps paying for itself. So, oh yeah. Anyways, we'll get we'll get the carbs you here in the next. Uh, well, geez, we only have 242 days till the trails I know, open. That's it. So, okay. All right. Good okay. idea. Talk to you. No, uh, that actually be a good. That'll be lesson. on series two of a John Deere 500 that we restored. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's after we get that YouTube monetization. <laughs> All right. Bye. Congratulations. Okay. Well. That does that. That was exciting. Yeah. No, it's good that it ran. Let me restore my John Deere Spitfire. Thumb was a little warm, too. Is it? Oh, uh, that's a good sign. Yeah. It's a good sign. Slow. I was noticing the uh, the fuel was feeding slow until you started revving up a little bit and then yeah. it started picking up through the line. It could be that there's not much gas left in this. I really mm. don't know why more people just don't mount it here. Uh, I mean, I can only think of. Yeah, don't do that. Probably home, please, guys. Reasons, right? Yeah. I don't want to be responsible for something. Yeah. You said to do it. No. So that's good news, got it running. So now uh, now we can actually do stuff to it. So, because one thing is, if it doesn't run and the track doesn't spin, you part it out. So I'm parting it out, you're probably looking at $400 sled. Everything will sell for a price, it just takes some time. Yeah, you just gotta hang on to it. So, in the next episode, I guess we'll, uh, I swear we'll pull the, the carbs off, pull the gas tank, and we'll actually run lines correctly. Yeah, go from there, see what happens. Yeah, because I think we're going to might as well replace that oil line while we got it off. Yeah, because it's all yeah. it's all trash. So we'll go from there and start uh, start making this thing look good. Until next time, guys. All we'll right, see you. Peace out. Yep. Hey, everybody. We've been grinding away here at Back in the Snow, and it's all thanks to you. Remember to hit the like button like you do your throttle. Subscribe if you're not already, and drop your two cents down in the comments. We love hearing from you. Stay tuned because we've got more snowmobile restoration coming your way in the upcoming weeks. Hope to see you all back on the snow.